ice cream sundaes, maybe even hot chocolate. I put whipped cream on just about anything, but Jack's here to tell us if any supermarket whipped toppings can beat homemade. Now, I gotta say, I don't buy whipped cream, I make whipped cream. So you have opinions. I have opinions <laughs> about this one. If you're gonna buy them, you have two options, and both styles are represented here. You can either get it from the aerosol, mm -hmm. so the nitrous oxide is basically whipping it as it comes out of the can, or you can buy it in a tub, which means that it has been whipped at the factory, frozen, there's stabilizers in there to keep the nice bubbles in, and then you take it out of the freezer and you defrost it and you've got your whipped cream ready to go. I don't mind this tasting at all, though. You want me to just keep talking and you just <laughs> yes, keep uh, enjoying whipped cream? The brands that came out of a tub tended to be more billowy and fluffy mm -hmm. because the manufacturer had beat a lot of air into them. The ones that came out of an aerosol sometimes weeped or separated and they weren't as uniform as you might imagine where sometimes you'd get it a little bit fluffier but then you get some little bit of liquid at times. The other big difference here is what's in them. Mm -hmm. Huge <laughs> so, difference. Yeah, some of them are actually made with heavy cream and sugar. Some of them have no dairy whatsoever. They're made with hydrogenated oils. Mm -hmm. Interestingly, we found the biggest issue here was the amount of fat, not the type of fat. So if it was very lean, it just didn't have the right mouthfeel. Our favorite brand actually is not made with cream, but it had a, the most amount of fat. So it's a whipped topping, not a whipped cream. Exactly. Okay. So I have been allowing you to enjoy this. They're uh, half gone. Uh, but you need to start telling me a little <laughs> okay. bit about what you are noticing. Well, sweetness was the first thing that I noticed about this one. Very, very sweet. Wasn't too crazy about it. This one tastes like my childhood. <laughs> Definitely, I remember <laughs> what that looks like. This one is probably my favorite. It actually tastes a little bit like cream. I hope it is. I hope it's not just Crisco that came out of a can. The good news is you and the studio audience are in complete agreement. And I actually think you and the studio audience are in agreement with me. Oh, good. The bad news is our tasting panel actually liked the one without the cream. So flip that over. Um, you chose Lando Lakes, which is made with real heavy cream. There you go. I think it tastes the best. Yes. It was our runner up, mm -hmm. our favorite of the ones that came out of the aerosol, our favorite of the ones that are made with cream, but it only was the runner up. Huh. Why don't we slide on down here. The overall winner Ooh. for the expert panel was the Cool Whip. Now this is the extra creamy, which does have some dairy and mm -hmm. it's not made with cream, it's made with skim milk. It has a nice texture. Some of the studio audience liked this, but they were with you, Bridget, and they thought the Lando Lakes was the best. <laughs> this one in the middle, nobody liked it. The expert panel, the studio audience, that you didn't like so it. so sweet. Um, it's ready whip. This one had a really kind of foamy, almost dissolving texture, yes. and it was the lowest rated. Well, there you go. If you're like the tasting audience and myself, you want to go with Land Lakes. But if you want the winner, go out and buy Cool Whip Extra Creamy. <laughs> Thanks for watching Cook's Country from America's Test Kitchen. So what'd you think? Leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make or just say hi. Now you can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. Alligator. <laughs>